This is the MOGO 3 Pro. It's the latest release in the XJIMMY MOGO series of projectors. And this has to be one of the most beautifully designed portable projectors that I've ever come across. In the box, you get yourself the power adapter, which is USB type C, a user manual, and a very beautifully designed remote control. It does have dedicated licensed Netflix as well, and we'll run through all of the options on the Google TV once we set this up. And this is the projector itself. Make sure to check the link in the description for all of the latest pricing information, any discounts, and how you can get yourself one of the nicest, cleanest, premium quality portable projectors that you can get at this price range. And before I dive into the design and how this works of the MOGO 3 Pro, I just wanna highlight some optional accessories that really make this the ultimate projector for a home theater system. The first optional accessory is this creative optical filter. It's a little lens that actually magnifies your projection by up to five times, and you can go all the way up to 200 inches. And this is actually a nice way to refresh both your environment and your mindset. And you can use this kind of like a meditation space as well. And we will be testing this out later in the video. And the second and my favorite optional accessory is this power base stand. Not only is it a tripod that you can actually use to mount the projector on top of, but this is actually a power bank as well inbuilt into this. This gives you 20,000 milliamp hours of battery life to power this wireless projector. And that gives you around two and a half hours of playtime. You can see the ports here. The bottom one is the in, so you can charge the stand. The top one is the out, so you can actually power your projector. This is a game changer. It's going to be so convenient. And this is what ultimately will make it the best portable projector that you can get if you do have this power base stand with it. So I will set this up on this tripod because this just looks absolutely great. No need to fiddle around with trying to find the right position, but we are going to test this out both indoors and outdoors because alongside the actual projector itself that you can angle at various different positions, you just don't need any other accessory to help mount your projector so you can play back all your content on the wall or your screen. Now with this entire package, this is more than just a projector. This is a TV that just travels with you and it's an entertainment hub that kind of brings endless fun wherever you go. And I'm going to have some real fun showcasing the capabilities of the MOGO 3 Pro. Okay, let's take a closer look at the design whilst I'll show you the key specs on the sidebar here. Now it does have a little carry handle here just to make it easier for you to take with you, highlighting its portability. You have a type C port just there to charge up and power the device itself. The power button is just there above it. Then you have all of these speakers inbuilt into here. You have two five watt Harman Kardon speakers, which will give you really high quality audio. And this also supports Dolby audio as well, which we will be testing out. Inside this compartment, you have a USB port and a micro HDMI port as well, if you do want to connect any of the external devices. Now to open it up, it's very simple. You just lift this up. This comes up about just one and a half centimeters and you can actually light this up in ambient light mode, but to turn it on, you literally start facing this and tilting it upwards, and that's where you'll be seeing the lens. Now this is a very decent 450 ISO lumens of brightness, but you can see there's a couple of sensors in here. This has something called Intelligent Screen Adaption, or ISA. This gives you very fast, uninterrupted auto keystone, auto focus, auto screen alignment, intelligent obstacle avoidance, and intelligent eye protection as well. So in case anyone walks in front of the lens, it will dim the screen to prevent any eye glares into that person. And I'll showcase how all of that works, but this is really packed with a lot of features. Now that we have shown you everything on how this works and operates, and let's go ahead, set it up, go through some of the Google TV options and showcase how it performs with both the video and audio quality and both indoors and outdoors. Okay, so I've set it up with the power base stand and I'm actually using this with its wireless capabilities. So I've got the USB-C cable from the power base stand directly into the projector. So this is one of the nicest designs and this is what really makes it portable. And you can actually use it with either the main cable or just use it as a wireless one with this, making it a very portable projector for you to move around your house in different rooms or take it outdoors. Now let's go ahead and make it darker in the room and we'll run through some of the settings. Okay, so I've gone ahead and set up Google TV. It takes a few minutes to get everything up and running. Now I've shown Google TV many times in previous projector reviews. I'm gonna go into the settings. I won't dive into too much detail because these are very common Google TV settings that you may have seen many times, but there's a few things that I do want to highlight here as well. So of course, when you go into projector settings from here, you can set the keystone and focus. You can do it manually or automatic. And when you move the projector, the automatic keystone and focus is actually very fast and it works so well. 
I didn't really need to do any manual adjustments. Projection type, you can obviously set this to any of the locations as you can see here. Now, ambient light settings, this is a unique thing with this projector as well. I'm gonna show that once I've gone through the settings, so I'll come back to that. When you do auto eye protection, I will turn this on. If someone walks in front of the projector, it will actually dim the screen. So we'll go ahead and just quickly test that out now. So I'm going to walk in front of it. You can see eye protection. And now if I walk away, it will come back on. Display and sound, you can change the picture settings and the brightness levels from here. So if you go into brightness mode, you can go from standard, eco or performance. I will leave everything on standard. Picture settings, various different options that you're probably used to. The picture mode is set to standard, but you can set to office, game or user. When you set to user, you can customize each of these categories here. You can change the sound style to movie, music, game or sports, depending on what you're watching. Speakers are on. If you want to have auto volume control, you can also turn that on. Audio output. Right now, digital output is set to auto, but you have all of these other categories as well. And then you have main system settings, privacy. You can do a firmware update and I always recommend update the firmware to the latest version when you first set this up. So now let me quickly just show you the ambient light mode. And this is a really cool feature. If you go to ambient light settings, this will just show you what you can do with the projector. So I'm gonna just show you how it works. What you have to do is just rotate the projector vertically. The light will come on automatically on the projector. Then you can actually connect to it via your phone, via Bluetooth, and play that back as a external Bluetooth speaker. And then using the shortcut button on the remote control, you can actually change the light that appears on it. So this is kind of like a Bluetooth speaker as well, and you don't necessarily have to just always use it as a projector. So let me show you a quick demo of that. So the first thing, you turn this down completely, and you'll see there is actually a light that appears now. And that light is orange. Now I can go ahead and change the light by pressing the shortcut button on the remote control. And I will cycle through all of the different colors. Once you've gone past the last color, it will actually turn off, like so, and then press it one more time, and it comes back to the first color, which is orange. Now, if I go into my phone, I can find the projector. I'll pair it. Now that it's paired, I can use this as a Bluetooth speaker. So I'm going to just play a song on Spotify. and you'll see the light actually bounces to the music. And that is a really cool Bluetooth speaker. And there you go, sounds great, really great speakers on this. So let's go ahead and go back into Google TV. I can find the projector, I'll pair it. Now that it's paired, I can use this as a Bluetooth speaker. So I'm going to just play a song on Spotify. And you'll see the light actually bounces to the music. And that is a really cool Bluetooth speaker. And there you go, sounds great, really great speakers on this. So let's go ahead and go back into Google TV. Now the next thing I wanna show you, which is really cool about this projector, which I haven't seen in any other projector, is to use the creative optical filter and use this to actually zoom in up to five times of the projection to create like a nice atmosphere on your wall. So this doesn't necessarily work with a screen. You need to have a large white wall space, but I'm just gonna show you how that works anyway. This works best if you have this app downloaded, which is called XJimmy Wall. What that does is that will display like a nice view of the stars in space. And then you can just use that as kind of like a meditative space. But you also have the options to use various different videos. 
and you don't necessarily need to use this app. You can use your own app and your own videos to showcase this with the creative filter. So I'm going to use this one, a dreamlike nebula. And what I'm going to do is now place this filter onto the projector itself, clip it on, and then showcase how this turns from just hitting my 100 inch screen to dispersing all the way around. And I will point it at the ceiling as well to show you how that looks. And there you go. The creative filter is now on the front and you can see this is just dispersing in this really nice, beautiful glow. And if you just have a very large white wall space, choosing any of those different types of videos from the XGME wall app, this just makes it a very nice entrance to any room. And I'm going to point this to the ceiling as well, just to show you what it looks like when I do point this at just a plain white space. And there you have it. Look how amazing that looks. So if someone just walks into the room and they see this all over your ceiling or even on your walls, it just creates this very nice ambient atmosphere, which is a really cool feature to have. And I've not seen this in any other projector. So a really good shout out for XGME for thinking of something like this. Okay, finally, let's show you a demo video from Dolby Vision. This is going to showcase both the visuals and the great audio quality from the 10 watt Harman Kardon speakers. And hopefully you enjoy this because I will show two parts to this video, the first part being indoors and the second part being outdoors. So hopefully you enjoy this experience. From the beginning, we've asked the impossible questions. How do we spark awe? How do we evoke wonder? And how do we create an experience that takes you there? That immerses you in the moment. We are on a quest for the spectacular. Now I have to say the visual quality is great and it does work best when watching your favorite content in low lighting or even better in very dark environments. But paired with the decent quality speakers from Harman Kardon, it does pack a little punch with the bass compared to other portable projectors of this size on the market. In fact, it's so portable that you can easily pack it with you in your backpack and due to its lightweight design, you won't even feel much that it's there. And you can also check the XGME website for an optional carry case for the Mogo 3 Pro. But honestly, the thing that captures my attention to this more than any other portable Google TV powered projector on the market is its design. XGME have really thought of everything when it comes to portability. And I would definitely recommend buying the Powerbase stand with this because that alone is a decision maker for me on making the Mogo 3 Pro my projector of choice to use as a full portable home cinema experience. 
So that's it. I hope you found this review useful. Feel free to ask any questions you have on this in the comment section. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next one.